Lots of Broadway news going on this week. On Monday, March 18th was the Broadway Backwards performance. Now this is a performance where Broadway actors perform the stories of gays and lesbians through musical theater. It was held at the Palace Theater and sponsored by Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Some Broadway stars in attendance and that performed included Ashley Brown, Jan Maxwell, Kyle Dean Massey, and Stephanie J. Block. Now musical selections were performed from Broadway favorites including Dan Yankees, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, Company, The Drowsy Chaperone, and Cabaret, among many others. It was announced this week that Tony Award winner Karen Olivo is leaving the stage for good. The In the Heights and West Side Story actress stated that her heart just wasn't in it despite having the immense talent. Of course, we wish her the best of luck in whatever she pursues. The cast of Cinderella was in the recording studio on Monday, March 18th, which means we can hopefully expect a cast album in the near future. Laura Osnes tweeted pictures of the entire cast recording the album, and of course the show's stars were there, including Santina Fontana, Victoria Clark, and Harriet Harris. The album will be released via Ghostlight Records. More exciting news in the world of theater, the date of the 2013 Tony Awards was announced this week. The awards will be held June 9th at Radio City Music Hall at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Though a host hasn't been announced yet, it has been said that the nominees will be revealed on April 30th. And relating to the Tonys, it was announced this week that the Smash finale will include a fictional Tony Awards ceremony. It was shot at the Marriott Marquis Theatre earlier this year and will include cameos by Broadway stars Cheyenne Jackson, Rosie O'Donnell, Marin Mazzi, and Kathleen Marshall. Bernadette Peters also will be returning in the finale portraying Ivy's mother. It has been said that this finale could also double as a series finale, but that has yet to be confirmed. Peter and the Starcatcher has returned to Off-Broadway after leaving the Brooks Atkinson Theatre earlier this year. The show has transferred to the New World stages and stars Rick Holmes, Jason Ralph, and Nicole Lawrence. The original Broadway production included a cast of Celia Keenan-Bolger, Adam Chandler Barat, and Christian Borrell. In Les Mis news, this week is a huge week for Les Mis, especially here on Stage Door Dish. On Tuesday, the two-disc deluxe version of the album was released. Now, this is essentially the entire movie on a disc, so you can listen to all of the songs that we missed in the original release of the album. And the DVD is being released this week as well, so make sure to grab a copy of that so you can relive Les Mis as many times as you'd like. I know I will definitely be doing that this week as well. Both Steve Kazee and Kristen Milioti will be leaving the musical Once on Broadway. Now, Once garnered several Tony Awards including a Best Actor Tony for Steve Kazee, as well as a Best Musical Tony. The two will be leaving together, playing their last performance on March 24th. Once also celebrated its one-year anniversary on Broadway on Wednesday, March 20th. The two will be replaced by Ben Hope and Laura Dreyfus. The new musical Motown garnered over $1 million in revenue this weekend, its first weekend in previews. Now the show opened on March 11th and has an official opening night set for April 14th. The show features classic and well-known songs from the Motown label's catalog. The Cafe Carlisle is home to many Broadway stars who choose to perform concerts, most recently including John Lloyd Young and Laura Osnes, and it looks like John Lloyd Young will be returning this summer as well as Leah Salonga. It was announced this week that the two will be returning to the Cafe Carlisle, John Lloyd Young to perform a one-week encore of his performance earlier this year. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I want to know what you're most excited for on Broadway this week. So as always, please feel free to leave comments and I will be seeing you guys next time.